lip-syncing, has been a weirdly hot topic in rock and metal lately. Dream Theater's vocalist James Labrie has been accused of lip-syncing live, but he is not on his own. Rock icon Paul Stanley, who has been accused of lip-syncing live for years. And there's also recently been rumors of Blackie Lawless, lip-syncing to certain tracks live. But newer rock bands like Shinedown haven't shied away or denied using backing tracks and embrace it saying it adds to a better live experience. While Fozzy vocalist, Chris Jericho who also openly uses tracks, states that it aids artists to fill out their sound in a live environment. Radio host Eddie Trunk has for years slammed rock acts for lip-syncing and using backing tracks live. Trunk posted a video of the band Santa Cruz, playing at the Whiskey A Go-Go in Hollywood, on April 6. The video clearly shows the vocals continuing to play, despite nobody being at the microphone, which isn't really a case of a band using backing tracks to fill out their sound. It's just straight up not doing the vocals, and Trunk is pissed about it. This is beyond words. Is everyone I guess just okay with this? Said Trunk in a Facebook post. As I've said and have been saying this has become an epidemic that needs to stop. So bad it's to the point this band doesn't even attempt to fake their lip syncing. Stunning. Imagine paying to see a band you love live and it's anything but. What's the point? Imagine you are a band that puts the work in. To be live. And others don't. Play to a computer. And fans talk about how great they sound. Pathetic. It's the norm in pop. It's gotta stop in rock. Bands, fans and promoters have to care that a live rock show is live or it will only get worse. Madness. What's your views? On lip syncing and the use of backing tracks at live rock concerts. Please, leave us a comment. Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.